so what is going on guys it's triple g here back with another tribes of midgard video and in today's video we're going to be talking about how you can solo fenrir potentially on day five day seven eight nine ten and thirteen so guys this is not an easy challenge but it's definitely doable guys if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on twitch we stream five times a week and otherwise let's get straight into this video so normally people are killing fenrir on around about day 13 most people now as they're getting used to this game they're getting down to day 10 i have a strategy that will get you down to day five but no, most of the time you will kill on day seven or day eight if you have the rng gods with you you can get it down to five if you get it down to five guys screenshot it send it to me on twitter i want to see it i want to see that magic so let's talk about exactly how you need to do this so first of all there are two classes that i recommend that you try this with one of two you can either do it with the warden which is my preferred class or do this with the hunter now the reason for this is that resources are the key here we're going to be skipping the hideout and we are going to be doing the bare minimum we can to the village so that we can get into Fenrir faster and kill him before the waves of hell things on day five, six, seven, eight begin to be a problem. So this is a high risk, high reward strategy. This is a speed run, guys. It's going to go wrong a lot of the time. I have tried this probably about 20 times over the last couple of days. I have zero day five kills, but I know it's possible with the right RNG as I've been fighting Fenrir just with bad weapons on day five. I've killed on day six, day seven, day eight, and of course, day 10 and 13. So with this strategy, you're absolutely guaranteed to give yourself a shot. And it's also a really good strategy for the beginning of the game of any game. So first of all, let's talk about priorities. So in this example, we're going to talk about the Warden because I use the Warden. I think it's my preferred choice. So the first thing and most important tip at the start of the game is absolutely follow the roads here, guys. Hit as many different resources as you can, but hit the roads. The roads generally lead to really decent stuff like the Sorceress or the Bridge. I've only had one bridge in the entire time I've been in over 50 hours that didn't happen to be at the end of a road so get yourself a road the first day you need to be going straight out and getting as far as possible getting as many shrines as possible once you get to 750 souls and as much materials as it's taken to get there go back to your camp upgrade your pickaxe twice you want a silver pickaxe this is about resources it's literally the most important thing go back get your pickaxe go back out again this time go down a different road open the map up okay get yourself ready day one you don't need to defend your town okay so don't worry about that go out and farm keep farming hit a couple of camps if you can hit a large camp this early on do it we're going to need those ancient artifacts for the bridge then when it becomes to day two it's going back we want to upgrade our weaponsmith now hopefully you've gone towards the land of the pools get yourself a nornia axe you don't need to upgrade once twice three times to get a nornia you can get the shock nornia super effective against health things will be absolutely fine for what we need right now so once you've got yourself your silver got yourself your denon spikes got yourself your moon stuff get your nornia go back to camp upgrade your guy make sure he's level three then it's the jotun now if you're super lucky and in my opinion the only way you can get day five is if you get the frost jotun first if you get the Frost Jotun first, then you are in with an amazing chance of doing day five. Absolutely amazing chance. The reason for that is the legendary associated with that Jotun is something that you don't need to upgrade through three, four, five times through the tree of the upgrade. So you just need the unfrozen talismans and a few other things. I think it's raw iron and a couple of other things, but all of which are really easily obtainable. So you can get yourself your legendary ready for Fenrir really, really early on. If you get the other Jotuns, then nah, it's a bit more difficult. The Tornado Jotun is a good one to get as well, but you've really got to be lucky to get one of those too. So you've killed your Jotun. Hopefully by now you've found the bridge. If you haven't found the bridge yet, 
what i want you to do is go over to the quest screen grab yourself the easy quest okay whatever direction that is in go that way go on a road find the bridge we have to find the bridge critical right now day three we have to find the bridge you can get your quarry up by day one if you've been firing materials on day one go back to your merchant upgrade she's obviously at tier three by now get the cornerstone get the raw iron get the lumber whack it in the quarry we're going to need that but we'll come back to the quarry in a little while let's assume that you found the bridge the next thing that you need to find and you need to be considering is the sorceress now you want the sorceress on the beach the sorceress on the beach is the one that sells the hideout fragments we will not be able to do this as fast if we don't get this guy so you need to keep exploring but you also need to be multitasking at the same time day three night don't bother with you guys will do it as long as you've been upgrading them like i said you guys will sort out the waves okay you need to return for the blood moon that is the only one you need to return for in this cycle once you've found the sorceress and hopefully you found it fast it is game time the bridge and the sorceress are the two main components go and get your quest done go and get your event done you only need to do one event and one easy quest do the easy quest it'll be nice and simple get back to base by now you should have quite a few souls so your npc on the left the tinker needs to be tier three your weapon smith get that up to as ma as maximum as possible hopefully tier five but you probably haven't got that yet then what you're going to want to do is go to your armor you need blue armor for this you want blue armor you want the feral armor that will give you the cold resistance allow you to move around a bit if you've got the frost jotun then what we're going to be doing is we're going to go into the cold area and get in unsunken talismans to get that legendary axe as fast as possible while all of this is going on the quarry is going so make sure not only are you taking deliveries but you're also still farming while you're out there and you're upgrading those materials you got for more cornerstone more raw iron and the ancient fragments if you haven't gotten any of the ancient stuff look for the yellow bars go for the large camps the witches in there they will have those ancient stuff for the bridge so with your abundance of souls now we're going to go to the bridge and we're going to unlock the bridge okay once you've unlocked the bridge hopefully by now go across the bridge and, and unlock the hideout just the shrine though at this point you don't have all the tokens you need okay so go to the shrine that's next to the hideout there's always a shrine there unlock the shrine and get the hell out of there for now we don't need to be there then what i want you to do is you want to go and find a selling merchant you find a selling merchant the reason why the warden is so good is because you should be taking the specs if you're following my build which is on youtube you should be taking the crafting reduce by 30 percent and the buying and selling 25 percent off and 25 percent better for prices sold okay now what i want you to do is sell everything you should have your feral armor on you should have your legendary axe by now if not you should at least try and get to a purple axe you have to get a legendary really to get this to pull this off sell everything we're not going to use anything else make sure you keep your materials for your potions and don't sell any fragments that you've got right now then you're going to go to the sorceress you found on the beach and you're going to buy five hideout tag fragments if you do not have enough sell some more stuff or go and hit some camps quickly remember that farming materials will also give you souls hopefully you then have enough souls go back to the hideout then you're going to put everything in if you are short at this point you need to farm souls okay you have to farm souls just bear in mind though that if you get there and you've put all your fragments in and then you have fragments spare you can sell those too go back sell them once you've got everything your hideouts open you've got your feral armor on and you've got a legendary weapon go back to your community chest drop everything off drop everything off make sure that you don't leave anything if you get killed in fenrir once you've dropped everything off get into fenrir hopefully you got a legendary weapon i recommend the frozen ask i recommend the frozen axe and hit him bloody hard hit him hard chat smack him up right use the blizzard the r2 trigger and smash it make sure you've got plenty of potions in there you've got time here if it's day five you haven't got time if it's day five your world's first i'm telling you but if it's day six day seven day eight you've got time if you see that hell things are going to attack you get the message get out protect your tree you won't survive if you're on day six without you protecting your tree go back to fenrir day eight still good day seven's amazing day 10's even still good you are speed running this guys 
I'm pumped about this. I, I love this. This is a fucking great game. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel or join us on Twitch. We stream five times a week. And otherwise, I'll catch you on the flip.